So we're trying to diagnose this HR 2510. Sometimes the display hasn't been coming up when you turn the radio on. I've, been, I've had it sitting on the shelf here for years. Um, never quite pinpointed it. I even tried replacing the MPU with another one, um, which didn't resolve the issue, so I knew that it wasn't the, the cause. Um, I've had my second oscilloscope here, um, which has got a logic probe attachment on it. Um, I've had that hooked up to it as well, and I noticed that when I had that hooked up, it didn't fault anymore. So it only do it randomly, so it's pretty hard to predict. Um, but what I did notice is that when I um, scope it, there's some noise on the digital there. So if I look at this here, there you go. See those smaller marks here? It's about 0.7 of a volt. 0.7 to 0.8 of a volt. Um, ringing on the serial data line. So I'm actually looking at that and what I've done now, I'm just experimenting to see what I can do about the ringing. And I've added a little resistor here. It does have pull down resistors on the, on the circuit board and they're all intact and they do the quick values and stuff like that. So it's not that. Um, good little resistor there. And a capacitor here um, to try and stop the ringing. The resistor helps and the capacitor is also adding to that. Um, so if I solder that on and I'll show you what that ringing level is afterwards. Okay I've attached that to that pin now and if you look at the display you see the ringing is now only about 0.4 of a volt so it's halved the ringing um, and I suspect that ringing is actually what's causing the issue with the display it's causing um, erratic data so it doesn't actually know what it's trying to do because it can't read it um, see right now it's coming on every time so um, yeah that's what I'm suspecting it is at the moment is that ringing on the digital lines um, so there's another digital line right next to it which I need to look at as well which is um, possibly affecting it because it's seen as a ring on that one too but we'll see right so I've just done a quick little probe on the chip select pin which is the next pin pin 3 and you can see on here that there is about 0.7 of a volt ringing on it um, at worst and that is with that um, currently hooked up to the second pin so I'll just try it in again in a second so I'll just remove that connection to the second pin and re-triggered and the ringing is maybe fraction worse probably about 0.75 so it is radiating through the chip right so I've now moved down to pin 3 and now we're getting about 0.4 of a volt ringing at worst so that is actually making a difference I'm going to measure the second pin again with that same thing in place so this is the second pin again and that's back up to about 0.7 so the ringing is not just radiating it's actually on each pin so it's probably originating somewhere else and coming out the chip somewhere so I'm going to have to look into the ringing on the other pins and see if I can identify it so I probed around the DIC and um, I can't see any other signals which could be causing the ringing um, obviously there's the 2 megahertz oscillator there but um, it's not that so it's a different frequency I think it's something which is generated inside the chip um, I've also unplugged the display cable here obviously these are just going to come and get to it um, and just to eliminate this feedback from the display IC itself and um, no nah, it's not happening so it's definitely something from within the MPU which is causing the problem so I'm going to have to uh, just try and reduce the ringing externally and see if that resolves the issue. Um, hopefully that resistor and that capacitor combination will do the job and I might have to put across on two versions on both pins to stop ringing in both those pins and hopefully that will stop the display bug. Um, yeah, it's on right now but yeah, we'll see. See how it goes. Right, I've now put those parts in there. Um, you know, it's less than ideal but they're in I have to obviously secure them so they don't move around but um, with those in there I was getting measurements of about 0.3 to 0.4 volt ringing so that's definitely half as much ringing as it used to have and the um, display is powering up so far every time 
hasn't failed yet. So I'm hoping that ringing is all the problem was. I'm going to keep on trying it obviously for a couple of days just to make sure, but um, hopefully that's the internet and I can get this one off my bloody shelf and sell it. So yeah.